Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Now, if this is the first uh, video you've ever seen on my channel, I've uploaded over 500 videos at this point. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you are a coach that's within sports that's looking to grow your business. This channel is for you, right? I am dedicating, I've dedicated my life, <laughs> a lot of my life to help coaches. And um, one thing that I wanted to share with you on today's video, this is a little different than what I talk about. But at this point, like I have spent so much time, so many hours talking to coaches from every corner on the planet. I've talked to coaches that live in big cities. I've co talked to coaches that live in tiny towns in the middle of nowhere in Europe or in Africa or in like the middle of America. I, like I have talked to so many different coaches and something that I've seen and what I do is I keep track of this sort of stuff. Something I've seen is a lot of coaches have self-limiting beliefs about themselves, about money, about how far they can go with their business, about you know all sorts of stuff, about sales, about marketing. And what I wanna do here, right, is I wanna break down why you have self-limiting beliefs and how you can move through this. Because personally, I've had many self-limiting beliefs um, and I still have some. Like, I, I, I mean, I'm just gonna be perfectly honest with you. There's, there's still some things that I put over my head. It's like a ceiling. And I'm actively working to break out of those. So I'm not just showing you uh, from different conversations I've had with coaches. I'm also talking about myself personally when I, when I share this with you in this video. And really there's three things that I look at about why you have self limiting beliefs. First, all right, top left, it's going to be based around how you were raised when you were a kid, right? That's the first thing. Uh, a lot of times when I talk to coaches, They'll, they'll just come out and say, yeah, like my, my family didn't grow up with money. Um, you know, my, my dad never wanted me to start my own business. My mom th thinks it's a bad idea that I branch off on my own. Um, there's, all, there's all of these like childhood extensions of how it was when you were younger, things that you were told when you were younger, things that you were told even when you're an adult. And this is kind of my approach with with that you know at the end of the day your family cares about you they want what's best for you but i really believe i can't get business advice from someone who doesn't have a business if someone is not willing to take the risk that i'm willing to take i should not listen to what they have to say no matter how much they love me all right and that that's a very blunt way of looking at it but i'm going to give you another example if I want to just get absolutely jacked and yoked <laughs> at the gym, when I go do my search for a personal trainer, am I gonna pick the guy who's eating Domino's every night? Or am I gonna go pick the guy who's absolutely shredded, the guy that I wanna look like? Of course, I'm gonna look, I want to get the guy who, who I want to look like. I'm gonna trust that person knows what they're talking about. And when they tell me to eat X, Y, Z during the week, if I want to look like them, I'm going to do it, right? I hope that makes sense. It's the exact same with business, though. You, you have to get advice from people who've done it. Get advice from people who like, can back up what they say. That's very different than you know, attaching yourself to this belief that, oh, well, you know, my family doesn't think I should do this, or this is how they think about money. Like, you are your own person, right? You are your own person. You, like, yes, you should have values and, and beliefs that you know your family has, whether those are you know right or wrong. I, I'm not going to sit here and judge you, but when it comes to business, you are your own person. You get to make decisions however you want, and your success is really your responsibility. That that's just flat out. It's not going to be based around um, what you were told when you were nine years old. And here's the thing. I am guilty of this. If you look like deep back into my videos on either on this YouTube channel, I talk about how like a lot of people did hold me back at the beginning. 
And I use that for fuel and motivation to drive my business forward. And the thing is, I attached myself too much to that. And it wasn't until recently where I was like, you know, I don't need to think about that anymore. Like, I don't need to think about the haters or the people who told me I was wrong when I started. Like, that that doesn't serve me at all, all right? And what I want you to do is be able to look at your current situation, right? And write down all the things that you're like, man, like, I can't believe I think that this way. Or I can't believe I think this way. Or like, why do I... I think it's bad to make more money in my business. Why do I think it's bad to charge more for my service? Why do I think it's bad to sell and market myself? Like that probably most of it comes from how you were raised, right? I'm not going to be your daddy or your papa. So I, I can't convince you to think a certain way. Like it, it, that's going to come down to you and you have to be willing to change. And that's the thing that I really want to hammer here before we talk about the next two is you have to be willing to change how you think, how you operate, if you want to have different results. Otherwise, you're gonna be in that same comfort zone, stuck forever, and no one can get you out of that. There's, there can't, there's not a conference you can go to or watch some webinar that's gonna make you change how you believe. Even if you buy someone's program, that's not gonna change how you believe. Like That's gonna come down to you. You have to take action steps. Right? And it's hard to take those action steps if you don't know what you're identifying. Right? That's the first, how you were raised. Second, and th you know, this is straight up, like social media is unbelievably toxic for self-limiting beliefs. And here's why. I'll give you two examples. So example number one is you might spend an hour or two hours a day on Facebook or Instagram. Everyone's posting their highlights, how cool they are, uh, you know, what vacation they just went on, how cool their kids are. Uh, it's all like positive in your face. Here's how much better I am than you, <laughs> right? And oftentimes what people do is they'll, they'll see that and they'll be like, well, I can never do that. And so what they do is they automatically compare themselves to that current situation, right? And then you stay quiet and then you become envious and then you place this cap on your head thinking well i can never do that like and you, you just start to get jealous all the time when you see others succeed all right the second type of person what they do is they start to follow certain people on social media right and these people on social media they just try to show this lifestyle of big balling big pimping uh, going on the yachts, looking at the, the clear water in Fiji, whatever it is. And you, you think that that's success. And that's not, right? And for that person, it might be, right? But for you watching, that's, that's ultimately not what success looks like. So it's this big mirage and you don't know it and you'll never know it unless you just turn it off, right? And this is why, like, I've been very intentional. If, if you know me on a personal level, you know this about me. I have had zero Facebook post, zero Instagram, zero Twitter. I only focus my attention on making these videos. I don't care who likes my videos. I don't care who comments. Like, I only care if coaches reach out to me and end up talking to me. That's only how I can help, right? And at this point, over 500 videos. And I spent a couple of years on Instagram trying to like, I don't know, I, I, was, I wasn't trying to impress people, but I spent time trying to get a lot of people to watch what I was doing, trying to get a lot of attention. That just doesn't work. And at the end of the day, that's not me. Like, that's not me. I, I, don't, I don't value attention. And... I got sucked into that though. I was like, oh, these people that I really admire are doing this, so I'm gonna do it too. And I got sucked into the trap and then it hit me in the face one day and I was like, why am I doing this? I need to stop doing this. And then I completely stopped. That's why I am like a ghost on the internet outside of these YouTube videos and the uh, emails that I write. <laughs> and uh, that to me is something you should turn completely off, right? 
And the thing is, is like, if you can't match up to what someone else's lifestyle is, you're always gonna have these self-limiting beliefs and those end up hurting you. Because if you're like, oh, I can't get to that level, then you feel like you'll never get to that level. And that's on you, right? That's on you. And instead, what you should do is you should just try to, ultimately, you should just try to have next year should be a little bit better than this year. The year after that should be a little bit better because it's a game against yourself. It's not against these social media gurus that try to show you the life, right? So turn off that stuff. It doesn't work. It does not help, right? And it could motivate you for five minutes. That person's not going to be with you at six o'clock in the morning when you need to write your newsletter, <laughs> right? So that is something, if I am in your shoes, I would turn it off. I can tell you my business has done better since I haven't had social media. All right. Lastly is your current environment. Now, it's hard to like grow and succeed and get to the next level in your business when your environment holds you back. And here, here's the thing. Like, I know when you're watching this video, it's in November. Uh, and what I'll tell you is like, the picker you are with who you hang out with and who you spend time with, the better your business is and the less self-limiting beliefs you have. So for example, if I hang out with five people who don't have businesses, that doesn't mean they're bad people. But like, if I have something going on, how am I going to be able to relate with that person? I can't. Like, they, they won't know what it's like to have a business. They won't know what it's like to have clients. They won't know what it's like to like market and sell so it's like it's an uncomfortable and weird conversation if the people i spend time with don't get it they don't understand me now if i spend time with five other people that have businesses they are in a position where like i know i can ask them questions and get quality advice and they come to me with the same thing they're asking me questions i feel really good about going to that person and to ask the right questions and i know that there's there's really no self-limiting beliefs in those conversations because I can see what they are doing in their business and they are raising the bar and they're showing me, wow, that is possible, right? For example, I spoke with, uh, recently and, it, like, and, I, and I know when I say this, most coaches won't believe it when I say it, but it's real. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I spoke with someone who does $100,000 a month. They're not in the sports industry and they literally like they work like three hours a week right this person is a lot older right they have a team they have uh, pieces in place and like he, going into that conversation and hearing that i wasn't like oh man like what did this person do wrong to get that like i, I wasn't thinking that at all i was like wow that that is possible this this guy is doing it like that's, that's something to strive for. That's amazing. Good for him. Like, what can I learn from this guy versus, oh, that's impossible. There's no way I could do that. And this is why like your environment is so important. And again, like I control my own environment as weird as that sounds. I know it sounds like I'm a huge control freak, but it's like, I'm not going to go hang out with people who, who don't think, I don't want to say don't think the same way I do. But when it comes to self-limiting beliefs, if, if they're not on the same level as me, then every time I spend time with them, my self-limiting beliefs are going to get bigger and bigger, right? My comfort zone is going to get smaller and smaller, right? And when you spend time with people who are like, no, 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 this is possible, or no, Ben, you can do that, right? Those are the people you want to spend time with, right? And this is why, like, I, I mean, I've said this at nauseum on this channel for the last five, six years. You're really only as good as who you spend your time with. And I think it's physically impossible. Seriously, I think it's physically impossible to have a really successful business if you hang out with losers all the time. And I also, on the flip side, I think it's really, really difficult to have a business that fails if you hang out with five lions and winners and champs. Like it's hard to fail if you spend time with those types of people, right? And the cool thing is you get to decide who you spend your time with. I, that's why for me, I mean, I, I have a small circle of people I spend time with 
and everybody else, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I don't, I don't spend a lot of quality time with those types of people. And that's, that's not me being arrogant. It's, it's me protecting my life and protecting my time. Right? So I hope this helps you. And I would tell you, like, I know it's one of my longer videos here. I promise you, if, if you start changing how, you know, what you believe in, how you like start to scrap the, the little things you heard when you were younger, you start to eliminate social media and you change your environment. Like there's no limit to what you can do. Right. And that, that's what I'm here to tell you. It's like, I, there's no limit on me with, with what I can achieve and, and what I can end up doing in the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. And it's the same with you. Right. And I'm not going to sit here and do, give a hoorah speech about why you need to be motivated. Right. I'm not that guy, but I'm telling you, like, you are putting those self beliefs on yourself now if you're an adult right you can take you can remove those you can change your current circumstance that is that is really on your shoulders so that's it for today's video if you want to get in touch with me shoot me a text 210-960-5771 it's right in the middle of the page you can't miss it if you want 25 percent coupon uh, for any program go to buildmysportsbiz.com scroll down to courses and on those checkout pages i have the coupon code it's literally sitting there it's right in front of you um, go use those if you want to uh grab a program that we have if you want to grow your camps and sell out your camps or if you are looking to get your business started. All right, that's it for today's video. Catch you later.